video shows you how to get started with the DevExpress drawer view control for Xamarin Forms. We'll begin with a simple blank project. Then we'll add the drawer view and code to handle appearance and behavior based on the device orientation. Let's get started. Before you begin, we recommend that you review our documentation. Go to Navigation, then Drawer Page, and see the Getting Started topic. You'll find instructions on how to prepare your mobile app for use with the DevExpress Drawer Page. You'll learn how to add references to our controls, add registration code to proper places in the project, and add a namespace and control declaration to your XAML code. The first step is to add the namespace reference into the top of your XAML page, and then change the page type from a content page to a drawer page. Next, switch over to the code behind file and add the necessary using statement to reference the DevExpress Xamarin Forms drawer page library. Finally, update the class inheritance by swapping content view again to drawer page. Following the tutorial from the DevExpress documents website, create three classes that will hold the sample data. First, a vehicle.cs file, then grouped vehicles view model.cs, the last one being main view model.cs. For simplicity, copy the code from the website and paste into the corresponding file. Switch back to the main page XAML file. It's time to add the content. We'll begin by creating and assigning the list view instance of the drawer page .drawer content. This is bound to the view models vehicles by make property. Next, we create the drawer view .main content property and bind its list view to an item selected in the drawers list. Run the application. You can see when the drawer is opened, the master list of vehicle makes is shown and the item selection causes the content element to be rendered with the corresponding list items. It's time to add some code to handle appearance and behavior based on the orientation of the device. Switch back to Visual Studio and navigate to the main page.xaml.cs file. We're going to implement a property to determine the orientation of the device, along with an event that will be updated when the screen size is altered. Using a value converter, we'll determine the behavior of the drawer, alternating between split when in landscape mode and the slide on top method when portrait. Switching to the XAML view, the drawer behavior property is bound to the newly created is landscape oriented property. Moving to the app.xaml.cs file, we need to assign the app's main navigation page to an instance of the application main page and add the main page drawer page to the navigation stack. Then create a style in app.xaml defining the navigation bar appearance. Since we want to implement a button that can be used to open and close the drawer, the next step is to add a stack layout to the navigation page title view property, followed by the button and label. The button's click event is also configured. In the code behind file, the button click event is implemented and set to toggle the is drawer opened property. Finally, customize the drawer size, shadow, shadow color, and scrim using their respective properties. One thing to note, is that the scrim is not used when the drawer behavior is set to split. Run the application. The drawer can be opened and closed with the menu button, and when the device is rotated, the drawer is shown at all times. This concludes our quick tutorial. We recommend that you also review the demo application and learn about other capabilities available in our Xamarin Forms drawer page control. You can get the demo source from the Download Manager on devexpress.com or from our GitHub repository. To review the app on your mobile device, find the free download on the iOS App Store or in Google Play. Once you've loaded the demo, go to the Drawer section. You can see a functional example of how the power of the drawer page control can be implemented in this Outlook-style mail sample. To see examples of the different position and transition settings, check out the Drawer Settings demo, where you can try out the many combinations to determine the best solution for your next project. Finally, the root level drawer example demonstrates the convenience of switching different content styles swiftly. And that's it for this video. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.